Hi everybody, it's Emily back again. Today I'm going to show you how to take your curl from curly to a looser curl pattern with Be Curly Curl Control. So first thing we have to do is shampoo my hair out so it's nice and wet. So I'm gonna go do that and I will see you in just a few minutes. Okay, so now that I've shampooed my hair, I'm going to begin with my Be Curly Style Prep. And I'm going to use about a quarter size amount because that's how much I need for my hair, but you might need more or less depending on how much hair you have. So I'm gonna rub that in my fingers and start taking that and pulling it through the ends all the way up to my scalp on both sides. And I'm gonna need just maybe a little bit more. Your hair should feel like it has product in it and a little bit slippery but it shouldn't feel like there's excessive globs of product all the way through your hair. So now that that's in, my style prep is in, I am going to use the Be Curly Curl Enhance, or Curl Controller, and pull that through the same exact way. So starting at the ends, working it through the mid lengths, and to the scalp. And as you can see, my curl pattern is loosening already. And now that I have my product evenly distributed through both sides, what I'm going to do is part my hair in two equal parts. So I'll show you in the back here. I'm gonna use my comb and go right down the back and separate that into two equal parts. And now that I have my two parts, I'm going to start by blow drying just to about 80% dry. Okay, so now that I have my hair about 80% dry, I can start twisting and wrapping it. And since I'm going to be adding a twist and a wrap, that's the reason why I want it 80% dry because once I start to twist it, it takes a lot longer to dry. So I'm going to start with my twist here, right by my ear, and I'm gonna twist it really tight I'm only gonna be doing two twists because my curl or my hair takes really easily to curl, but if yours doesn't as much, you can do more depending on how loose you want this curl. So I am twisting and wrapping as I go and I'm tucking the ends underneath. So now that I have that little bun on the side of my head, I'm gonna clip it. And I'm clipping it underneath the bun and why I'm doing that is because I don't want it to be on top of there. It's gonna leave marks and disrupt my curl pattern. So now I'm going to dry these twisted buns with a diffuser. So I'm gonna pop that on the end of my blow dryer, keep it on hot heat and low speed because I don't want my hair blowing all around too much because then it'll add frizz and I don't want that. So I'm gonna turn it on low and depending on how thick your hair is and how many buns you do, it might take a little longer. So if you need to give yourself a break and let it air dry, uh, if you secure it well enough, you could even sleep with this overnight. Just see what works for you. So I'm gonna turn it on low. And I'm just placing it right on top of the bun. You can cover your ear with your hand if it starts to get too hot. And you're just gonna have to keep checking these to see when they're dry and they might feel dry on the outside and you'll take them out. Take them out really slowly so you can touch them all the way through, make sure that they are completely dry and then that's when you can really let them go. Okay, so now my hair is dry and you wanna make sure that you check on the inside of your bun to make sure that it's completely dry 100% of the way. And before you take them out, make sure that they have a few minutes to cool as well. So I'm going to take out my clips and I'm going to piece apart the buns with my fingers, just really gently so I don't disrupt the curl too much. And as you can see, I've got really nice, loose curl. And I'm pulling it all the way through, really gentle. So now that I have my buns completely unraveled, I am going to finish with light element smoothing fluid. This will just help all the little flyaways stay down and you'd have a nice smooth finished look. This also adds a little bit of shine. So just running it through with your fingers. 
Okay, so you could leave it just like this, but what I like to do is just run my curl rod through the ends just to make it a lot more polished and a more finished look. So what I'm gonna do is take my curl rod. Since I want to have a really loose curl, I'm gonna take quite a big section so that it's not too tight at the ends. So I'm just wrapping that around here, like so. And as you can see, it just adds a little bit of curl to the end. And like I said, you don't have to do this, but this is just one little extra piece that I like to do when I do have time. Sometimes there's those mornings that you just won't, but when you do have five extra minutes, it's nice. Little finishing touch. I'm just kind of pulling those apart a little bit. And now I'm all finished. As you can see, you get a really nice result with this, really loose, beautiful curls. And I'm all ready to go, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you try it at home. I am looking forward to seeing you next time.